Hey everybody, Scott Burnett here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. Hope everybody's doing well today. I hope everybody's had a great week. It is August 28th, 2022. Let's go ahead and get started here. So I want to do a video today and I've seen a lot of requests on how to do video editing. Uh, the first one I want to start on today is a lot of computers are coming out with Windows 11 and DaVinci Resolve is my editor of choice right now. Has been for a while and uh, works great and it's free. There's a free version and a paid for version and the free version does great. Love it. Uh, I want to install it on Windows 11. I got my Windows 11 desktop right here. And let's go ahead and get started. Let's go down here on the screen. All right, we're going to go to blackmagic, blackmagicdesign.com. So all the links of this be in the description. So we're going to go to support. We're going to come down here to a product family of DaVinci Resolve and Fusion software. We're going to scroll down and uh, we see the DaVinci Resolve 1801 update. This came out on July 26th. So you got Mac OS, Windows, and Linux downloads. We're on Windows. So right now, what you have to do, you have to go in and put your name, um, email phone countries they, they don't spam you so and then tell us tell them how you use the product and i always say i'm an enthusiast and i do it for my youtube channel and then you register and download and then you get a it'll let you go ahead and download it well i took the time to go ahead and do that so we will go ahead and go to my downloads folder and here it is right here it is 3.114 gigabytes Pretty good size, pretty good size, but um, it actually says the size is 2.96 gigs. So once you download it, you'll need to extract it to a folder, and then you can get rid of that parent folder. And I'm gonna go ahead and install it. And it doesn't take very long. Uh, this is modest hardware that I've got it on. I've got a i5 8400, 16 gigs of RAM. Uh, right now I have onboard video and just an SSD for storage. And then I have a second SSD on the system to uh, allow the, to work the videos off of as like a um, scratch disk. But the machine works well, so All right, we're going to hit yes. And now it's going to install some C++ libraries, uh, the Blackmagic stuff. Go ahead and hit install. And I, I still find it hard to believe that this is free because it, it works really good and, and it's what's called an NLE. And um, it's it's a really good piece of software. I figure it'd be one of those things you hook they hook you into it with a little bit and then you want to go buy it, but I haven't had to yet. Uh, the installer runs really fast too. I'm makes me when I want to, when I'm writing software at work, I want to make it just where it's a little bit faster. So my software is nowhere near this big though. I'm gonna hit next, next. The normal, all the default locations, the whole bit. You know, everything's pretty much the same as Windows 10. Just Windows 11's got a little more lipstick on it. That's, uh, it. It's a stable, quick operating system if you cut all the bloatware and uh, all the stuff sending back to uh, Microsoft. Which, if you'd like to see a video on that, I can, I can show you a video on that. There's the icon, there's the command prompt, and finish. Now it'll install a few C++ libraries. And C++ is just a Microsoft uh, language. 
All right, so it asked me to restart my computer. I'm gonna say no because I'm recording the screen. Let me stop the recording and we'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Had to do a quick reboot. I'm gonna double click DaVinci Resolve. This is 18.0.1. And what it'll do, it'll go through a little quick setup. It tells you what you have first. All the new changes. We'll hit continue. We'll do a quick setup. It found my operating system and graphics card. I'm gonna hit continue. Uh, I'm gonna do Ultra HD, which is uh, 4K. Even though this is modest hardware, there are ways around it. So um, now this one it, it defaults to your C drive to your videos folder. I'm gonna change it to my E drive, which this is a drive for. Um, I'm sorry, my F drive and my video files folder in it. Hit continue. I'm gonna use my DaVinci Resolve keyboard layout, which is just your layout. Now you can get overlays for your keyboard that'll have all kind of shortcut keys and everything. I'd love to try to do that. All right, open it up. Eighteen's a lot faster than seventeen was. That's one thing I have seen. Um, okay, now here is your layout to create videos in. Now, one thing I like doing first: check for updates. We're up to date. Uh, then I'm gonna go to the project settings, and way it starts out, you can change your your frame rates, your time and resolutions color where you're adding things i'm gonna leave it just like that uh, it did move all my proxy files cache clips and gallery down to the f drive which that's going to speed it up to allow you to uh, your operating system to work and not be churning the uh, video software and let that other drive be doing everything uh, there's all the presets, color management. Um, I do have some LUTs, but we won't add those now. Preferences. So I'm gonna go to the preferences and uh, we'll look at the memory and GPU. So this machine has 16 gigs of memory. It puts 11.9 to resolve. Fusion, Fusion is like After Effects in Adobe. It's where you can do all kind of transitions and green screens and all that stuff. It's limited to eight. You know, you're better off with a, a graphics card and 32 gigs, to be honest, but this is fine. Um, GPU, I'm using the onboard, 6.3 gigs. Media and storage, I got everything going to the F. Um, everything else should be just standard. One thing I will do is go ahead and sign directly into YouTube here in a little bit. So I can actually edit the video and deliver it to YouTube without having to open up another browser. That, that feature works really good. So there is DaVinci Resolve 1801. Um, one thing I do want to show you real quick, the media page, uh, cut page, edit page. Edit page is where I stay most of the time. Uh, my green screen, green screen callouts, I'll do infusion. Color is where you can add LUTs and, and work on your color if you're blown out or too dark or whatever, you can actually enhance that. Fairlight is where you do all your audio work. So you can have your audio levels normalized and add equalizers and, and all that stuff. The deliver page is where you actually render the video out and send it to Facebook or YouTube or Vimeo or wherever you're going with it. So that is how quick you can do it in Windows 11. So I hope you got something out of that. If you got any questions, leave them down in the comments. If you use DaVinci Resolve, let me know. Let me know if you like it or not.
It doesn't matter. It's, there's no wrong answer here. So, anyway, hope y'all like this video. Give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell. Hit that bell to be notified. I keep doing that. I uh, hope everybody's having a great week. I hope everybody has a great week coming up. But uh, that's it for today. So, like I always say, until the next video, thanks for watching.